Hello, today I'm going to share with you some beautiful dichroic beads that I bought in Mauritius. I found these beads in a lovely little bead shop which is near the harbour and the whole um, waterfront development. This little shop had a treasure trove of lovely bead stones, all sorts. You could stay there all day, but I found these beads as well. And they make a gorgeous pendant. Cut three lengths of one millimeter wire, 20 centimeters long, and thread them through the hole in the bottom of the bead. Luckily, it has a very nice large hole. Push the wires through halfway, half half, and then bend the bottom wires upwards towards the top of the pendant. I have also made and sold a lot of these at markets and shops, so they turned out to be very popular and so easy to make. You have bent the three wires upward and now turn it into a very pretty little swirl. There are lots of things you can do on the front of this bead. You don't want to take away from the beauty of the glass, but a few little swirls and embellishments go a long way. I wouldn't add more blingy beads or anything to this design because I think the bead must speak for itself. So added texture, curls, that's fine. But for me, it's enough. So now you're going to take that one of the tails over the shoulder and wrap it around the three upwards facing wires, the ones that went through the hole and they're facing upwards. Take it around the shoulder and wrap those three. This is going to make a nice textured feature for your bale. Wrap it around as many times as you can go with that length of wire and then squeeze, compress and get it all lined up. I like to also after I've done this and secured that end so there are no little scratchy bits, then I hammer it flattish, not too hard, but to get all those wraps going in the same direction. That also looks nice. I think the colour of these beads so reflects the colours of Mauritius. I absolutely love going there. So now back to the pendant. You're going to curl up those ends of the swirl, curl them right back near to the swirl and I just hammered the ends flat after I made the curl. I hammered them flat. It looks nice, it's textured and makes it look more interesting than just a bit of wire. It's so nice to bring back something that you treasure from a beautiful island like Mauritius. Um, it's not too far from South Africa, so we have a five-hour flight and then come into land at that beautiful, beautiful island. I could go on and on and bore you to tears about Mauritius, but you get the idea. It's lovely. Swimming, the water is so warm, it's safe, it's within a reef, and I can't say enough good things about it. The people are wonderful, the shopping is lovely, bus trips everywhere, Port Louis is lovely to walk around. I love to walk around the streets near the fresh produce market, which is just an experience in itself. So okay, now I'm starting to bore you, I'll stop. <laughs> now back to making that pendant. Hammer the wires flat, your wrap that you have made, and bend those long tails over a knitting needle, which I find is a nice size. You may have anything else that works for you. And then once they are bent over, I'm going to squeeze it in with my long nose pliers, and that forms the very neat veil. It crimps in against the body of the pendant. You can see what a nice shape that makes. It's a nice round and then it is squeezed in nice and tightly against the body. We have to secure the bale against the body 
otherwise it, with wear and tear it might pull away. So cut a 30 centimeter length of 0.4 millimeter wire, thread it through, and then begin to wrap it around that from the round the bale to the front and round and round a few times. Say six times is enough to secure it. To finish that, I have twisted the two tails of the 0.4 millimeter wire together. They make a reasonable length, and from there I have brought it around the front of the pendant once or twice and then it is secured around the right hand tail. Wrap it a few times, squeeze it in so that there are no little snags and then I pushed it down a little so that it's not all strung out along the tail. That same little tail now is trimmed if you need to and then curl it into a sweet little curl and nest it up against the bale. The other two tails I took round to the back and I've curled them there because I like the back of a pendant to be pretty as well as the front. Please subscribe if you have enjoyed this and you may even be tempted to go to Mauritius. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.